Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's have a look at putting a border around a picture. Very, very simple border that uh, you often see just a thin tracer line. Um, of actually a very simple tip to if you want to increase, because you want to make the, the picture sort of bigger, put space around it, you can, you can actually do it with the crop tool. You can just go out to however much you want probably need to turn the snapping off as it tries to jump back in again and just hit apply and there you are you've got a space around the edge which you can do something with I'm going to undo that and do it more accurately by going to document and resize canvas now what we want to do here is first we want to set the anchor in the middle so it expands in all directions secondly we want to take off the lock here so that it doesn't go in proportion because we want to change these things differently. Then we want a size. Generally a thin line, if you go up in the thousands here, it's going to be roughly something like 0.1%. Um, so I've got 76 here. I'm just going to turn that up to 80. Oh, sorry, 77. I'll add 100. Just add 100 there and add the same amount here. That's why you use a nice simple number to 48. And I say resize. And now I've got a border here. You can change it if I don't like that. I can just do undo and say, oh, maybe I'll put 50 or something like that. But anyway, let's keep this so it's nice and visible. Question now, there's ways to fill this in. One way is go to edit and matte. And matte will fill in any uh, transparent or partially transparent pixels. So if I go to that's the, the custom color, also it's the same as the primary color, like that, or secondary color, which is black. Let's do it in white. You can see it changes as you do it, so you can even test things out. Yeah, and I could even go to a custom color here, pick a color, and say, oh, let's do it in red. See, I can do just change it very, very easily. Uh, another variant, uh, which gives you a bit of a little bit more non-destructive control. Cancel that is to put a layer underneath here. So what we can do is put in a fill layer. So I go to layer, new fill layer, and I stick this underneath. And that's currently white here, but I can change this to any color I like. And one of the tricks that you can do is to pick a color in the image itself. So there's, in the image, we've got blue, we've got orange and so on. You don't want something that's going to hit the edge quite hard, so it'll, because it starts to make it so I bleed into the edge. So I use the just the picker here, go over somewhere. Let's use the try the orange of the that there. And then to get it into the into the colour here, I click on that. There we go. And so I've now got a, a contrasting border here which looks similar to this. So there we go. That's a very quick way of doing things. You can try other things like doing inverts and you can do, do an average blur. That's another trick. We go to Filters, Blur, Average, and you use that colour, or the invert of that colour. So a number of ways to do it, but uh, normally you want something that's going to stand out. If you've got a very light picture, you don't want white around it, so you use something like black or grey. If you've got a dark picture, then white is often a good colour. Or you can use something like this across to contrasting colour. There you go, a whole bunch of tips and things are the way to do this. I uh, hope that's useful, and thank you very much for watching.